What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we're going to quickly go over the details for AGL Tapion's Extreme Z Awakening, which is dropping on JP in about two days from now. As always, we're going to start with the pre-EZA details first, and then talk about the Extreme Z Awaken details, so you guys can compare the two. Alright, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it, starting with the pre-EZA leader skill which is Giant Form Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, and Maximum Number of Turning Giant Form plus 1. For all allies, Super Attack causes immense damage and lowers enemy's attack, and Passive reduces damage received by 50%, Attack plus 150%, and Defense plus 50% when HP is 50% or less, and then breaks Phantom Majin Seal when conditions are met. And the condition, of course, is uh, you'll become Harutagarn when HP is 50% or less once only. So yeah, that was Harutagarn, or rather uh, Tapion before the EZA. He was pretty much solely there for tanking purposes. I mean, he did get a decent amount of attack on his passive, but that was only when he fell below 50%. So... Um, even though he was good in certain situations, I wasn't a huge fan of this unit before the EZA. But now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, they do fix, you know, pretty much all of his problems. So let's pop over to the EZA tab here. So with the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill becomes Giant Form Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 160% across the board, so a 10% increase, which is nice. Um, the Giant Form Category, honestly, is still not great so I don't really see a reason to run this team unless you're really bored or you're doing the uh, super battle road stage right but I'll give you guys a quick look here um 160 percent across the board is nice but it's still a very limited category right there's like what well, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23, 24, 25. Okay, 25 units. Not the smallest category, but definitely very limited. And there aren't really that many exciting units either, right? So, uh, yeah, nice increase to the leader skill, but doesn't really make a huge difference for the category overall. Uh, super attack causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense. So before it was just lowers attack. So now both attack and defense are debuffed. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120% and reduces damage received by 50% plus an additional attack plus 50% or sorry attack plus 80% when HP is 50% or less and then breaks Majin or Phantom Majin's seal when conditions are met. So uh, not a huge change but definitely significant changes to the passive instead of not getting any attack or de defense buff um, you know, at the start of the turn, at the start of the battle, he's now getting 120% attack and defense, and of course still getting the 50% damage reduction with no conditions. And then if you fall below 50% HP, you do get an 80% attack buff, which obviously is less than before. But uh, once again, he starts with 120% attack and defense, so I think this is a much better distribution of the uh, stat boosts. And uh, yeah, this combo with the 50% damage reduction is going to make him very, very tanky. I mean, 120% defense combined with his new stats, you know, once he's rainbowed and uh, fully extremely awakened, he gets up to 11,898 defense, which is significant. And uh, attack is 15,940, which is not bad. 14,988 HP, kind of low actually, but not a huge deal. So uh, yeah, you combine those stats with the 120% defense increase and also the 50% damage reduction, he's going to be mad tanky, man, like crazy, crazy tanky. And then if you fall below 50% 50% HP, he's going to get that huge attack buff too, so he's going to be hitting even harder. Overall, he's not going to be like super, super um, hard hitting, I guess, like he's not going to be a crazy damage dealer by any means but he'll give you respectable damage while being one of the better tanks in the game. Um, now, unfortunately, we didn't get the details for his transformation conditions. Like, we don't know if, if they were updated or not, but I would assume they'll probably stay the same. I'm guessing it's still going to be, you know, below 50% HP to transform into Herdogarn. 
Her Herudigarn. But um, I could be wrong, maybe they'll make it a little bit of an easier condition to satisfy, like, you know, breaks Phantom Seal when HP is 60% or less, or 70%, or something like that, we'll see. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much Tapion for you. Uh, I'll take a quick look, or, or we'll pop over to the Herudigarn tab here, just to see, uh, you know, what he does. Now, we don't have the easy A details because they weren't released on the uh, official Dokkan Twitter page, but before the easy A... Herudigarn greatly raised attack temporarily, which was a 50% boost to the super attack multiplier and caused destructive damage, which is the same as like pretty much all of the giant form or create ape transformations. And uh, his passive allows him to evade enemies attacks, including super attacks, which uh, doesn't really make a difference like compared to like other giant forms, right? Because you're always going to be immune from damage, except instead of like taking no damage, he just evades all the attacks, which is kind of the same thing. And uh, yeah, that was Herudigarn. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if they actually make some kind of change to Herudigarn with the easy A. Like, is he going to get, you know, like more key for every key sphere obtained or something like that, just to make it easier to super? Because obviously, when it comes to these giant forms, you know, your whole team is like going to be that one character. So they don't, they don't link with each other. So getting supers off is sometimes a hassle so uh, hopefully you know he gets like key plus one for every key sphere obtained or something like that maybe um massively raises attack instead of greatly so instead of 50 percent, it would be like a 80 percent increase and i guess that's pretty much all they could do with it you know there's not really too much room to play with when it comes to a transformation like this but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Either way, I'm, I'm liking what I see. I mean, Tapion, I think some people were expecting a little bit more. But you got to keep in mind that he isn't a Dokkan Festival exclusive unit. Um, so, you know, like, you can't expect too much. And I think what they did with him is good enough. Like, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. I'm not going to go overboard and say, like, he's broken, he's insane, or anything like that. Because he's not. But he is very good. It's a very good easy A, great tank, that still comes first, I would say, good damage, and, uh, you know, what else could you want, right? So, uh, that's it, guys, that's the video, thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for AGL Tapion's Extreme Z Awakening, um, I'm not sure if he's gonna bring other easy A's with him, like, what about the tech one? Is the tech one getting easy A? We didn't hear anything about it, but... It would make sense, right? I mean, we'll find out probably, you know, in a couple days uh, once this drops. So uh, stay tuned. But uh, that's going to be the video. Thank you so... Oh, also, hold on. Also, maybe Dokken Awakenings for Hoi and uh, Minosha. Possibly the SRs, because they're both pretty solid SRs. So if they got Dokken Awakenings, then they might actually become, like, very usable. You know, very relevant. But uh, anyways... Yo, I'm, on, I'm going on a tangent right now. Let's just end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.